Ushafte maim bisasoni ma aine ya Yeshua. Shafte maim bisasoni mi ma aine ya Yeshua. Maim 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 e maim bisasoni maim 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 maim. Hey, my imbissason, hey, 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 my im, 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 my him bisasson, my him, my him, my him, my him, hey, my him bisasson, hey, 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 my him, my him, my him, my him, my him, my him bisasson, my him, my him, my him, my him, my him, my him bisasson. Shabbat shalom, everyone. I am Rabbi Barry Silver, and on behalf of Congregation Lador Vador. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to our Shabbat celebration. You might be wondering, wait a minute, wasn't it just last week that we celebrated Shabbat? Why do we need to do this again? We believe in the Jewish tradition that the creation of the earth and the universe celebrated on Shabbat is such a magnificent celebration and occasion and cause for rejoicing. We could do this not just every week, but every day. We could never grow tired of rejoicing over creation. And indeed, the actual creation of the earth and the universe is far more spectacular than our ancestors could have imagined. They thought, as recorded in the Torah, that God just spoke into existence, the stars, the moon, the planet, the animals, the plants, and us. We now know that the gradual evolution of our planet and of all life on earth and of the solar system and everything in the universe was a far more stupendous, spectacular event. And the acts of creation are still ongoing every day. For instance, the Bible says that God created order out of chaos. Today we know how complex it actually was. Planetoids, asteroids, comets, Moons, all types of things were swirling around the early universe. If any of those collisions in the cosmic roulette of the early formation of our solar system had been a little different, Earth could have been shattered and destroyed. Or it could have been rendered lifeless. Today we know that just 63 million years ago, these collisions were still going on. In fact, they're happening today, but 63 million years ago. One of those meteorites crashed into the Yucatan and caused climactic crisis and catastrophes, which eventually wiped out the dinosaurs. If not for that collision, human beings would never have emerged because little creatures were able to survive because the dinosaurs were no longer preying upon them. If the collision had been a little more forceful, it could have wiped out not most of life on Earth, but all of life on Earth. And so today we give thanks for our good fortune that life emerged and by a series of incredible miracles led to us. In order to help us celebrate Earth and creation, we have some wonderful people to assist us. We have Nancy Beyer, who will celebrate the lighting of the Shabbat candles with us, and Suzanne Burstein, who will lead us in the Kiddush. I thank them, and now, let the celebration of Shabbat begin. Good evening, good Shabbos, everybody. Come, let us welcome Shabbat and give thanks for its light. May our homes shine with the light of Shabbat and our hearts glow with Shabbat joy this week and every week. We welcome Shabbat and give thanks for its light. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Kiddishanu B'mitzvoto, 
Vetsivanu Lehit Hardlik Nair Shel Shabbat. May we be blessed with Shabbat joy. May we be blessed with Shabbat peace. May we be blessed with Shabbat light. Hope to see you all soon. I miss you very much and miss our the joy of our congregation. Love you all. Shabbat Shalom. Hello. The beginning of Shabbat is marked by reciting a benediction sanctifying the day. Kiddush, which means sanctification, is the prayer recited over the wine through which Jews proclaim the uniqueness of Shabbat. Sweet wine has long been used to make Shabbat just a little sweeter. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Borei Puri Adafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'ratzavanu V'shabat Kadosho V'yahava U'vratzon Himilanu Zikaru Memate Bereshi ki hu yom tehila lemikrai kodesh zeher mitziat mitzrayim kivanu vacharta biotanu kidashta mikoha amim b'shabat kachha biava uvratzon kin haltanu. Baruch atah Adonai, mekadesh ha-shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. I hope everyone's feeling well and wish you all the best. Yeah, 
Kadudi Likrat Kala Pinishabat Nikabila As I mentioned in the beginning of this Shabbat celebration, we owe life on Earth to a series of miraculous good fortune that allowed our planet to emerge from the chaos of the early solar system. Still, many more miracles were left to come for life to continue. One of the problems with our Earth was that it was spinning on its axis in a rather unstable way, like a spinning top that was out of control. It was not stable enough to generate life. But a crash occurred on Earth with a planetesimal, a planetoid, and it's ejected matter from the planetoid and Earth into space. Eventually it formed the moon, and the moon's orbit and the gravity of the moon stabilized the wobble in order to allow life to continue. Many times we look up at the moon and we say, isn't it beautiful, a gorgeous sight, a romantic sight. But how often do we give thanks to the moon for allowing our life to continue? We now have a series of blessings. I hope as we hear this blessing and the Shema, the Yahavta, and all the other ones, I hope we will give thanks for all of those miracles that allowed life to continue and the creation of life on earth, which we celebrate on Shabbat. God 
unto your God, unto your God. Adonai Eloheinu Elohe Abotenu Vimotenu Elohe Abraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sara Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Lea Hael Hagadol Hagibor Vehanora El Elyon Gomel Chasadim Tovim Vekone Hakohol Bezocher chaste avot v'imahot, u'mevi ge'ula livne v'neihem, l'ma'an shemo v'ahava, melech ozer u'moshia u'magein. Baruch ata Adonai, magein Avraham v'ezrat sarah. As I have mentioned in this service, we owe our lives to many wondrous events that occurred billions of years before we were even born. We're just learning about them now. As we enter a few moments of silent reflection, I hope we might pause and consider how lucky we are that life emerged on earth and that we were given the gift of life as well by a wonderful series of incredible coincidences, including the meeting of our own parents and their parents and those before them, that led to our birth as well. As we enter these moments of silent meditation, let us consider, now that we have beat the odds, now that we are here on earth, now that we have given, been given the gift of life, what will we do in order to take full advantage of the runoff miraculous event that led to our birth. Let us not only give thanks, but let us use our potential to make the most of the life that we have been given by being a blessing and a service to others so that we can truly show appreciation for the gift of creation. A few moments of silent meditation.
Tora 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 Tora, 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 Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Bohed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim Vinatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Our Torah reading the Shabbat is a sedra called Re'e, Behold. Ki yakum yikurbecha navi o cholem halom unatan elecha ot o mofet. If there should arise within your camp a prophet or a dreamer of dreams and he shall give you a sign or a symbol uvo ha'ot v'ha mofet Asher diber alecha lemo nelcha achare Elohim acherim. And if this sign should come true, his prophecy should materialize as he predicted. And he says, Come and join me in going after other gods. Asher lo yadatem v'na'avadatem, which you have not known before, and encourage you to worship them. Lo tishma al divre hanavi hahu. Do not listen to the words of this prophet, O el cholem hachalom, O this dreamer of dreams, ki menaseh Adonai Elohechem etchem ladaat hayishachem ahavim et Adonai Elohechem b'chol levavachem u'v'chol nafshachem acharei Adonai Elohechem telchu. Because God is only testing you. Yes, he has caused this prophecy to come true. To see how much you love him. To see if you truly love the Lord your God. And will follow him in all your ways and cling to him. Uvkulo v'tishm'u v'oto ta'avdu uvo t'davk'un v'hanavi ha'hu o'cholem ha'hu Yomat. And if this dreamer of dreams or prophet tries to entice you to worship other gods, then he shall surely die. Ki dibir sara el Adonai Elohechem hamotzi etchem me'eretz Mitzrayim v'hivtarcha me'bet avadim lehabdicha min ha'aretz asher tzivcha Adonai Elohecha lalechet ba uva'alta ha'cha if this prophet or this dreamer attempts to take you away from the God who brought you out of the land of Egypt and subverts your loyalty to him, 
then he shall be put to death, and in that way you shall drive out evil from your midst. The blessing after the Torah. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu turat emet, v'chai olam nata bitochenu, Baruch atah Adonai, noten haTorah. Amen. Raised in the idyllic surroundings of Stamford, Connecticut, with four brothers who love to do sports, and a neighborhood of kids ready to join in the fun, and two awesome parents who also joined with us sometimes and supported our athletic activities 100%. I have wonderful, fond memories of my childhood especially summer vacation when we went to Camp JC, the Jewish Center Camp, and engaged in all types of sports and other activities. But our favorite was the trampoline. We loved the trampoline so much that one day we came home to our parents and we said, Mom, Dad, we want to get a trampoline of our own. They said, come on, a trampoline? It's dangerous. It's expensive. And you're going to get tired of it like all your other toys. We said, no, Mom, no, Dad. We will never, ever be tired of the trampoline. We love the trampoline. So they said, okay. But what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to save up your money. So for over a year, we never got any birthday presents or Hanukkah gifts. We just got money that went into the trampoline fund. And finally, one day, we were so excited when a big hole was dug in our front yard. Trampoline was put in ground level. And the fun began. And neighbors and friends and people we didn't even know came over on the trampoline. We knew and respected how much fun we could have on the trampoline, but also realized how potentially dangerous it was. So we had rules. No flips unless you know what you were doing, or we would teach you how to do it in steps. If we wanted to learn a new trick, we would go on the diving board and learn it there. Because there, if you missed the trick, you would fall into water. And the worst that would happen is you'd slap your face or your back or your stomach. But then you'd just get up and walk away, and it was fine. Not so on the trampoline. You could miss a trick on the trampoline in such a way that you could easily get paralyzed or killed. So we had a great respect for the danger of the trampoline. We formed a suicide squad where we would go up on the high board and put on a sweatshirt and long pants, and we would summon up the courage of each other by each one trying tricks that they couldn't do, and then crashing until eventually they learned it, and then we would do it on the trampoline. I remember Joe Goldstein, my coach, teaching me a backflip for the first time. He held onto my shirt, bounced with me, helped spin me around, and eventually I was able to do it myself. And I still remember the first time I went up all on my, on my own, threw my head back, grabbed my legs into a tuck, opened up at just the right time, and came out on my feet. It was amazing, exhilarating. I can also remember my first double back. That was a lot scarier and a lot more difficult. I had to go up and bounce as high as I could and grab the tuck and hold it for just the right time and then open up. I missed so many times before I ever learned it. I learned it on a spotting belt with spotters on a diving board, but finally I could hit a double back and I had it timed. In order to do those tricks, you first have to form a mental image in your mind of what you're going to do. You have to imagine yourself doing it before and then in your mind you do it. And then as you're doing it, your mind is telling your body what to do. I, I also remember doing doubles with twists in it. Very, very difficult. Now, let's go to S Simone Biles. What she does is just light years ahead of anything that I can do. She actually does doubles with multiple twists on the ground or off a balance beam this wide or off a uneven parallel bars in perfect form. I watch her and I'm just amazed. She's spinning, twisting, stops the twist, then goes into a spin. I remember thinking in my mind, what would happen if I got lost just for a second in the mid in midair? It could be fatal. And when she's doing those tricks, I get scared thinking about that. What good sense she had when she decided, you know what, I'm not mentally 
100% right now, I think I'm going to step back and not do this. And what great courage she had to explain why. So that all people who are going through some type of distress or, or, or mental illness or just a little too much pressure in life are able to say, I could use some help or I'm not doing well. That shows great courage to tell that to the world. And so I have remarkable admiration for what she's able to do. I would not want her if she was not 100% mentally able to do a trick like that. Because if, you're, if you lose concentration for a split second, that could be it. That could be the end. Now then you have this guy Djokovic. Now he says, oh, she doesn't know how to handle pressure. If you want to be a professional athlete, you have to deal with pressure, like me. Well, I played college tennis. Obviously, I played nothing like the level of Novak Djokovic, but I can tell you one thing. Having played tennis and doing gymnastics, the pressure in tennis is nothing like the pressure in gymnastics. In tennis, if you feel pressure and you succumb, you might lose a point, maybe a game, maybe even the match, but you walk away and you play the next match. Gymnastics, if you lose mental concentration because of the pressure, you don't just lose a match, you could lose your life. And for him to ridicule her or to mock her was ridiculous, especially because two days later, he loses a match, he throws his racket, breaks another racket, withdraws from the doubles match and makes a complete fool of himself. This, my friends, is a great lesson for us as we approach the high holidays. Do we sometimes ridicule or mock or chastise other people for sins that we commit ourselves in even greater degree? Let us be a little bit hesitant to form negative judgments of others, but let us be ready to judge ourselves. The greatest gift that we can do is to use honest introspection to judge ourselves, especially harshly and critically, so that we can improve. That's the only way we can improve. And if we have the ability to assess our own shortcomings, there's no stopping what we can do and how we can improve in our life. Speaking of improvement, the passage I read in Deuteronomy, it's pretty harsh, pretty barbaric. God is supposedly saying, if someone is a prophet and they're not coming from me, even if their prophecies come true, stone them to death. You know, how would the people even know if, if it's a false prophet, if the prophets come true? God explains, he's doing that to test you. He wants to see if you're going to actually have enough love and devotion to God that even if a prophet is prophesying and predicting correctly, you'll still follow God. That's pretty vicious to stone the guy to death. But it gets worse. In the paragraph afterwards, which I didn't read, it says that if your own son or daughter or wife is giving a false teaching or a teaching unknown to the fathers or a different type of God, you should take the first stone and lead a mob to stone him to death, your own child. How barbaric. The next passage goes a step further. It says if there's a city where people are praying to the wrong God, inquire. And if it is true that they're doing this, go in and kill every man, woman, and child by the sword. The orthodox among us want us to believe that God wrote this, that this is divine wisdom and compassion and goodness. How absurd. It's blasphemous to say that these are God's words. Obviously, this is of human origin, not divine origin. Fortunately, we modern Jews recognize that the Torah represents our first step towards moral development, not our last. And so we are able to do what we do on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Assess, evaluate, and improve, and recognize the truth of what the Torah is trying to say. A visionary, a prophet, these are very important people. We Jews celebrate dreamers. Joseph with his dreams that saved Egypt. Jacob with his dream of ascending a ladder towards heaven, representing higher moral development. The prophets with their dreams of universal world peace. They set a vision for humanity that we're still trying to emulate. And my friends, 
as we approach the high holidays, let us also, like these great gymnasts and tennis players, form a vision in our mind of how we want to behave and perform, a vision of our best self, and let us work hard and devote ourselves like these athletes in order to try to make that vision become a reality. My friends, if we don't first form a vision of something better, we'll always stay the same. And so I hope as we approach the high holidays, we will use Simone Biles as our role model. She recognized that she needed a break. She went right back afterwards and won a bronze medal. She overcame any hesitations or obstacles, but did it in her own way, did not succumb to outside pressure, and was honest with the world and achieved greatness. Let us also learn from Djokovic, whose comments were a joke, and let us be hesitant to condemn the actions of our neighbors when especially we demonstrate those ourselves. Let us be quick to judge ourselves. We don't need an external supernatural judge to determine what's wrong. All we need is a rational mind and the courage to face our faults. And then this high holiday can be the best ever. And we can not only help ourselves to achieve moral improvement, we can also be part of the Jewish effort to change the world. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, Shalom, be Roma. Who ya Shalom, Aleinu. Oh, Shalom, be Roma. Who ya Shalom, Aleinu. I reach out to you, Holy One. As my heart longs for peace, guide my words and my deeds, bring me closer to your love. Oh, Shalom, be Roma, who ya Shalom, Aleinu. Shalom, be Roma, make peace for all Israel. I reach out to you, Holy One, as my heart longs for peace. Guide my Shalom, be Roma, who ya Shalom, Aleinu. Oh, Shalom, be Roma, make peace for all his right.
Throughout this service, I have shared with you the Jewish appreciation for the works of creation, which we celebrate every Shabbat. I have offered an insight from a cosmic Jewish perspective, looking perhaps with a God's eye view as our ancestors imagined a divine authority looking from beyond and seeing how wondrous life is and how much we should rejoice in the gift of life. Yes, even when life is taken from us and from our loved ones, we still give thanks because the Jewish people have such a profound appreciation for life that we give thanks for life even though it comes with an expiration date. Some have speculated that perhaps we take our lives more seriously and life is even more precious because it is not eternal and forever. And so with this in mind, with appreciation for the lives of our loved ones and our own, we recite the Kaddish as a thank you to all the works of creation that have led to our lives and the lives of our loved ones who we honor with the Kaddish. Yiskidal v'yiskidash shemer abba v'yalma divrach ruse v'yamlich mach ruse v'chayachon v'yomechon v'chayye d'chol beis Yisrael v'agala v'yizman kari v'yimru amen Yehi shemer abba m'yvorach l'olam u'mei u'maya Yisporach v'yistabach v'yispoar v'yischoma v'yisnaseh Vies hadar, vies ale, vies alal, shemere kedesha berechu. Le'elam en ko berechasa v'shirasa, tish bechasa v'nechamasa. Da'am yaron v'yama v'yamru amen. Yehe shlam araba min shmaya v'chayim, aleinu v'yako Yisrael v'yamru amen. Ose shalom v'yamru ma. V'yase shalom aleinu v'yako Yisrael v'yamru amen. Welcome, everyone, and Shabbat Shalom. I'm Sharon Leibovitz, and I'm very happy to represent Lador Vador and offer our announcements. Lador Vador is a congregation filled with warm and welcoming people of all ages, backgrounds, and beliefs. We offer a rational view of Judaism and the Torah, a Judaism that's exciting and invigorating. We hope you'll take some time to peruse our brand new website at ladorvador.org, our YouTube channel, and our periodic email newsletters to keep in the know with Lador Vador and all we have to offer. We hope you'll help us build the Judaism of tomorrow today together with Lador Vador. We welcome you to join in our weekly discussions each Tuesday at 7 p.m. Chat with the Rabbi where our Rabbi Barry Silver and invited guest rabbis or cantors share their views on the upcoming Torah Parsha and other relevant and current topics of interest. Join us this Tuesday, August 10th at 7 p.m. when we together discuss the Parsha of Shaptim, Judges. Next Friday evening, August 13th at 7 p.m., we'll celebrate Shabbat together live and in person, safely at the Fellowship Hall on Seacrest Boulevard in Boynton Beach. We hope you'll join with us. We will require all to wear masks and stay socially distant. It will be good to see you again. We will also live stream this service for those that cannot attend with us. On Wednesday, August 18th at 7 p.m. on Zoom, We'll hold our monthly Controversial Issues Forum with Rabbi Barry and guests nationally recognized 
former Christian Evangelica pastor, Dan Barker, who is now a militant atheist. They will debate, does religion still serve a useful purpose in the modern world? We invite you all to join us, participate, sit back, or just listen. Lador Vador will be holding our beautiful High Holy Day services in the auditorium at the St. Lucius High School in Lantana, Florida. These services will be led by our Rabbi Barry Silver, and we will have cantorial soloists and musicians creating beautiful music for these special holidays. Guest tickets can be purchased from our website, ladorvador.org, or by mail. We've extended our special pricing through to August 25th. Let's welcome the new Jewish New Year 5782 together. Membership with Lador Vador for the new year includes tickets for all of our high holiday services. We welcome all to join with us and continue our celebration of Shabbat at our Zoom and Shmooz Oneg Shabbat at 8 p.m., a time when we can see each other, hear some beautiful music, and have some great conversation together. We'll also be honoring those celebrating August birthdays and anniversaries. Information and links for our programming and events can be found on ladorvador.org, our website, and within our email newsletters. Wishing you all to stay safe and healthy. May you all have a beautiful Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom with love from Lador Vidor. As this is the first Friday night, the first Shabbat in August, it is my pleasure as we celebrate the gift of creation and of birth itself to celebrate the birthday and the anniversary the official birth of the love celebrated between husband and wife for all those people who are celebrating birthdays and anniversaries this month. This blessing is especially to you. May you be blessed and preserved with another year of good health and prosperity. May the light of love and of learning and of knowledge shine upon you and shine from you always. May you be lifted up by the power of love and by the words of inspiration from our tradition in order to bring out the best in you and the best in those who surround you with love and friendship. And may you also be a source of peace. Amen. It has been my pleasure to celebrate Shabbat with you. I thank you for joining us in this celebration. I hope you will continue to join with Lador Vador. We have some amazing, wonderful celebrations coming up, some great discussions and debates that will be fascinating. And we also have our high holiday services, which shall go on. No pandemic could ever prevent the Jewish people from celebrating our holiest days, and we will continue. And so I hope that you will tune in and find out exactly the details of how we will be celebrating these high holiday services, which will absolutely go on. And now it is my pleasure to say to all of you, Shabbat Shalom. Siminto, Mazoto, Mazoto, the Siminto, Siminto, the Mazoto, Mazoto, the Siminto, Siminto, the Mazoto, Mazoto, the Siminto, Yehela, Nu, Yehela, Nu, Yehela, Nu, Ulecho, Israel, Yehela, Nu, Yehela, Nu. Ulecho Israel. Avir arim tzalul kayain v'reachor ani nisa beruach arbaim im kol pa. Uftar de matilan va even 
שבויה בחלומה. העיר אשר בדד יושבת ובליבה חומה. ירושלים של זר ושל נחושת ושל אור של נחושת ושל אור, הלא לכל שירייך אני כינור. איך היבשו בורות המים, כיכר השוק ריקה, ואין יורד אל הר הבית. בעיר העתיקה. ובמראות אשר בסלע מייללות רוחות, ואין יורד אל ים המלח בדרך יריחו. ירושלים של זב ושל נחושת ושל אור של זהב ושל נחושת ושל אור 